what is a book, not like the best book you've ever read about business, but as we're looking at, at this market, this time, uh, what's a book that every agent that that listens or watches this episode should be reading right now? You want to go first on this one, John? I yeah, I think, I think it's not sexy, but it, it, it's it's necessary, right? And for me, that book that every agent needs to read or reread would be Fanatical Prospecting by Jeb Blount. And, you know, the reality is this, guys, we're probably going to sell 4.5 million homes this year. And the last time we sold 4.5 million homes was in 2012, and we had about 950,000 agents. Right now, we have 1.6 million agents. That means less for everybody. And if you're not doubling down on prospecting, I think you're going to get eaten alive. Yeah. Yeah. It's good, man. I love it. I was hoping you were going to take mine, uh, and you didn't, which was good. <laughs> Let's see if I can see in the bookshelf behind you if you got it up there. I don't, I don't know. Um, What's yours? Mine's willpower, to, willpower doesn't work. Uh, Benjamin Hardy. I, I figured you got it. That's a good one, baby. That book showed up in my mailbox uh, before I took my RV trip around the world, like a few months beforehand, uh, actually from Joe Polish Genius Network. I must have signed up for their uh, their mailing list or something at some point, and they just mailed it to me. And I was like, never even heard of Benjamin Hardy. Now he's one of my favorite authors, but a great book. Um, but I pulled up one of the quotes from the book that I think is just a really good thing to be thinking about now and always. It says, if we do not create and control our environment, our environment creates and controls us. Uh, short story. I was my, the only other real estate brokerage I, I've been with prior to joining EXP six years ago was Keller Williams had a great experience there. Great company. However, when I was in that office, that bricks and mortar office, the, the environment that was, I guess, ex existing wasn't one that energized me. wasn't one that inspired me, motivated me. And I actually made the decision to take on additional expense, moved out of that office and got an office for my team like next door. And that was the best thing I could have did because I could have done because it allowed me and my team to create our own environment, one that was inspiring, fun, empowering. And I think that's just crucial. It's, it's a great book. You know, essentially willpower doesn't work. The title says it all, but the detail and the strategies and the, the tips that it gives you on, on how to create the best environment is really, really good. So that, and that's part of the reason why we created real estate game changers because we want to create that environment for agents that inspires, pushes them. You're the average of the five people you spend the most time with. And we're always mindful of that and always looking to level up the people um, that, that we surround ourselves with. So that's mine. Awesome. And I will, um, I've already mentioned Atomic Habits, which I, I think is the best. And there's a quote from Atomic Habits that I think says it all. It's every action you take is a vote for the person you wish to become, you know, and we're, we're simply the result of the, the choices we make with our time and the habits that we've let infiltrate our infiltrate our every day. Um, but it also uh, gives me a little bit of a cheat here with Audible. It's probably really my, my best favorite app. You know, being able to listen <laughs> to a book on Audible. I know you guys have a, you like to read books, but I, I use it. I love hate. Yeah, I, I, I love it. It's, uh, but I've listened to Atomic Habits probably five or six times. I listen to it when I'm trying to crack the code on a certain area of my life. And I listen to it through that lens. So now I'm going back through it. I'm like, why am I back at my upper weight? You know, like I'm, I'm 190 to 215. It's you have to of, start 75 hard again. Yeah. I mean, I don't know that I'll do that sanity, but um, so, so I'm reading it through that lens. So like why have, what habits have I allowed to infiltrate, you know, this part of my life, you know, where I'm, I'm good on other things. I've given up alcohol, I've given up caffeine, but I still, you know, consume calories too late and, and all of that crap. So, um, and then, and then the book, one more, I'll just throw it in there. Compound effect is along the lines of like willpower doesn't work. Um, atomic habits compound effect was probably the first book like that. <laughs> so good where I think, um, and we've, we've all seen him, uh, uh, live Darren Hardy, where I think it's Zig Ziglar has the quote, like being successful in anything, something like this is like, you know, where you're, you're manually pumping water, you know, yeah. so you have to pump really hard. No water is coming out. Right. When you, work out today, you're not going to be buffed and 30 pounds lighter, right? So, but you keep doing it, you keep pumping the well, and then 
you're getting in shape along the way, water's coming out, and then it's just maintenance mode. Same in business, same with prospecting, same with maintaining your physical body, being close to your creator, whatever it is, same in your marriage, whatever you want it to be. It's those little actions over time that are going to get you there.